Hey up lads and lasses, Damfy here, back again with some more Infinite Lagrange, and we are back in the UAV realm. So everyone's favourite UAVs to run are the healers from the series, the Tundras, the Guardians, etc. So we're going to have a look today at how good the repair is, and again this is another one of the fantastic guys written by uh, Null Pointer. So let's jump into it. So with the ship character uh, characteristics, pretty simple, we don't have any. The repair UVs are completely hidden, we have no values for them, so these reports are what are going to identify how much healing and what these sort of stats of these UAVs are. The first battle report, we're running the Tundra with plus 2% repair versus uh, the Cass, and it's not available to the series, so we ignore it for that. As we can see here, it is important to understand how the UAVs work and the UAV, UAVs behave like aircraft. They move around the battlefield and cannot be destroyed. And we can easily find the plus 2% here, which is why we used it. So we can see here that we're healing for 510. That's because it's 510 plus 500 times 2%, which is 10% 10, uh, 10 of 500. There you go. Uh, so we're equal to 510 for the repair. So for the repair for the uh, FG300 is as follows. You can see here that we have the start at 00, zero and then we have at 0334 target lock on. The acquisition starts when a ship has been hit before the UAV remains in the hangar. So it doesn't um, come out of the hangar and sit waiting. It stays in the hangar waits for a target to take or receive damage and then flies off to repair it. So at 3, 40, three uh, seconds, 436 milliseconds, we have the aircraft move. Then at seven seconds, uh, seven and a half seconds, we have the ship in the, road, uh, the middle row and the UAV, uh, UAVs move to the FG300 with an acquisition of five seconds. At 7.57, we start seeing the ship repair and we have the uh, repair cycle starting now, it's at ship repair, repair 1. And then uh, it's doing 510. We have at 15 seconds, point 0.6, we have repair 2. 23.6, repair 3. So you have those 5 seconds in between everything and movement time and stuff like that. And at 31.7, we have the final repair with the aircraft move. So a delay of 32 seconds. Back to the ship back row, UAV returns to the mothership, and then it goes to the uh, ship middle row, which is a 12 second interval between uh, the UAV going back to the mothership and then back out to the middle row. So quite long. So an average of 3000 HP per minute for a friendly ship. When the FG300 is destroyed, it is the Tundra that is attacked. In this case, the sequence is different. There is no interval to return to the mothership. Um, so an average of 3,100 HP per minute for motherships. Battle two, we have the series. Series one times an FG300 versus the Tundra six times FG300. In this battle is uh, with the series uh, and is used for reference for the following enhancements. So we look at the battlefield radar enhancements. This increases the target lock-on speed of the aircraft in the hangar by 14% uh, per level, up to uh, five levels, so quite a bit. Series works exactly like the Tundra. It's the same UAV, the only difference is it has two UAVs, which doubles its repair capacity and averages 6,000 HP per minute here. We then look at the series with a 70% lock-on. And you can see here that we have a massive lock on speed and it's reducing from 5 seconds to 1.5 second lock on speed. So we can see it here within the battle report. This just lets it target whatever's been damaged a lot faster, get over to it faster. And it's just overall just a, a faster uh, start to the healing process. Uh, the next one, Battle 4, we have the 20% RTB cooldown and 
as we can see here. The cooldown acts on intervals, 12 seconds minus 20%, so a 9.6 seconds. Uh, so every time that uh, ship moves off the ship it's repairing, to the back row to get back to the mothership, to re-release, to go back to the row to repair the ship, this is where we're seeing the, uh, the decrease in time taken, which is actually quite nice. It's from 12 seconds with just minus 20% to 9.6 seconds. So that's quite useful. Uh, we then have the series with a 20% hit rate, which, yeah, <laughs> as you can imagine, doesn't change anything. Hit rate does not change anything, anything for the repair UAVs. It must act only on the combat UAV, uh, which we are not currently looking at here. For conclusion, the repair UAVs are very interesting. They compensate the equivalent of 3,000 DPM for the Tundra and 6,000 DPM for this series. And you can multiply the ships, 10 series for example. So, quite a nice little bonus. These advantages will drop against large vessels as the acquisition pr process is quite long. Repair is possible on several ships. Uh, in my opinion, these ships have the same UAVs. The series, the Tundra, the Noma, and the XT-20 Auxiliary Cruiser. Uh, we haven't tested it, but that has three of these repair UAVs, so theoretically it's three times 500, so it's, in theory, the best healer possible. Uh, followed by the series, the Tundra and the Noma are joint, and the Guardian will also be in there as well. Uh, for the last three, uh, I don't have uh, acquisition times and the delays, so we haven't tested these, and that's the Spear of Uranus. Yep, I said it. The Heavy Battle Cruiser has 2 times 150 also for friendly ships. The Ruby Heavy Defensive Frigate, which heals itself, is 1 times 800 only for itself. And the Constantine the Great is 4 times 200 only for itself as well. So... Just to note, the Constantine and the Ruby, uh, they have, well, the Constantine, one of its systems that you can unlock, only heals itself. The Ruby only heals itself. The Spear of Uranus has standard sort of UAVs that will heal other ships, but the healing's reduced to 150 instead of 500, which is completely fair in my opinion. Uh, so we have tested the emergency report uh, repair for 20 tech points. It only applies to the mothership as it describes. When the ship's HP falls to 20%, all on board UAVs perform self-repair and increase repair effectiveness by 100% for 40 seconds. This effect only triggers once per battle. And we can see the 500 HP going up to 1000 when repairing itself. But in the end it's not really the most interesting it's pretty meh because you probably don't want your healy ship to heal itself for 40 seconds when something else is dying that could potentially save you because it's dealing damage right the other three uh, are missing and yeah we'll talk about those uh, later so there we go that is the healing capabilities so we know that Pretty bog standard, it's 500 HP heals per UAV. The more UAVs you have, the more healing you're gonna get out, because you're gonna double it every time you have you know, an extra UAV. Again, the amount of ships is gonna to apply to this, and they can target multiple different ships, which is quite nice, but they will take a bit of time to move between ships, which is why you may see ships exploding on the left or right of the ship that's getting healed, because um, it just takes the UAVs quite a long while to go from A to B to get to the next healing point. So this is partially why I say they fall off a little bit late game because things just pop too fast, but there you go. Anyway, hope you've enjoyed this video. Again, a great shout out to Null Pointer for helping with this guide or writing this guide. And have a good one, guys. And I'll catch you next time.